Hey everyone, welcome to Evolution Tesla, your source for the latest features, updates, and self-driving technology in the world of Tesla. In this episode, we'll be bringing you a quick overview of the new Autopilot in Tesla's software version 9. We'll discuss new features and capabilities of the new Autopilot, as well as some exciting new features coming in the next version. For our in-depth coverage and testing of the new version of Autopilot, including highways, tricky back roads, and more, be sure to come back soon or click on the link above or in the description below. For now, let's hop in the car and check out some of the new features and enhancements to the new Autopilot system. Tesla's Autopilot system earned some huge upgrades with the latest software update. The previous version used only two of the three front-facing cameras, but now all eight cameras are active for a 360-degree view around the car, in addition to the 12 ultrasonic sensors and forward-facing radar. They're now using a much more complex neural network based on over a billion miles of Autopilot driving data from Tesla's around the world and really taking advantage of the powerful NVIDIA Deep Learning supercomputer to drive it all. Elon Musk stated that the new system is performing around four times the calculations than the previous version of Autopilot. Let's take a look at some of the new capabilities of Autopilot in version 9. One of the first things you'll notice is that Autopilot in version 9 is capable of using its advanced neural network to render many different types of objects in the display. The previous version would render all objects as a generic car, but the new system is capable of distinguishing pedestrians, bicyclists, motorcycles, cars, SUVs, vans and light trucks, transport trucks, and buses. Version 8.1 could see cars in front of the car ahead of you, but it seems to be able to see much farther ahead in version 9, and can even determine the type of vehicle two cars ahead. Since the system is now monitoring your blind spots, it will now give you a blind spot warning by turning the lane lines red if you activate your turn signal with a vehicle in your blind spot. It will also intelligently slow down or wait for a clearing before it attempts to make an auto lane change if a vehicle is detected in the path. This is a big step forward towards the next update, which will include the exciting Drive on Nav feature. This feature will be able to autonomously drive your vehicle from on-ramp to off-ramp and take any necessary lane changes to work its way around slower traffic. Then automatically take the required exit if you have a destination entered in the navigation system. You can bet that I'll be putting it through some thorough testing once that becomes available. The updated display now also shows multiple lanes to each side of your vehicle, whereas the old system would only show up to one. I've seen up to four lanes being displayed on one side of the vehicle in version 9. Another big change is the ability to perform automatic lane changes on minor highways and even city streets. This was previously only available on major highways and it provides many more opportunities to use autopilot where it would have been too cumbersome with heavier traffic. So there you have some of the new upgrades to autopilot in version 9. Be sure to come back soon for our full in-depth testing of Autopilot in comparison to version 8.1. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. If you found these videos useful in your decision to purchase any new Tesla, now including any Model 3, you can use my referral code here to get yourself 6 months of free supercharging. Also, with a few referrals, I'll be able to get early access to the software so I can update you on the latest features and updates before it's released to the public. If this is your first time here, I hope you'll subscribe to stay up to date on the latest updates and self-driving tech from Tesla. If you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see here in the future, or maybe you want to see some different camera angles, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Have an awesome day, and we'll see you next time on Evolution Tesla.